Hi, I'm Grace. I have a grade 1 pilocytic astrocytoma. I was diagnosed in 2014 and today I'm going to be answering a few questions from some of my friends on Twitter for the Brain Tumor Charity. So I put out a tweet saying, does anyone have any questions about my brain tumour? And use the hashtag Grace's Brain. It's pretty original. The question I was asked the most is what were the symptoms that led to diagnosis? How did you know? So let's talk about that. Back in early 2014, I lost the use of my right hand and I couldn't handwrite, I couldn't hold things, I would drop them all the time and it would twitch quite a bit. Then slowly but surely, the twitches and general discomfort moved from my hand all the way up my right arm, just my right arm until eventually I'd be standing completely still or sitting and my arm would just flop out to the side and sway quite a bit, completely unpredictably and completely on its own. I'm laughing about it a bit now, but at the time, as I'm sure you can imagine, it was pretty horrifying. Then eventually it made its way to my shoulder, so I'd, my arm would be twitching and flailing about and my shoulder would be turning backwards and forwards, which are quite quite big movements and then my face went the right hand side of my face the eye was always kind of half closed and this side of my mouth stopped working I just adapted to it I don't know how but sometimes when you're thrown a curveball like this you find yourself just kind of ah I'll just I'll just go with it I also had a lot to do I was at the end of my third year at uni and I had assignments to finish and a dissertation to submit a dissertation which I got an insanely good grade on even though it was all typed with my left hand because my right hand just, I put it on the keyboard and it would just... Again, I can't believe I'm laughing about it now. I think I'm really used to telling people this list of symptoms when actually at the time, even though I ignored it for ages, when I actually finally sat down and thought about it and my family urged me to see a doctor and my friends and my boyfriend at the time, it was quite a big deal and it was quite scary. I hope everyone was happy with my responses to the questions. If anyone has come up with any more, then feel free to tweet me at underscore Grace Latter. Thank you for watching.